California adventure this morning, rope dropping it. Morning walk has commenced. I just finished my orange. Uh, two blueberry mini muffins today because I deserve to treat myself. Don't judge me. We're almost to the trams already. I have no, I have no strategy. I'm just winging. Part of me was like, do I go to Cars Land, that big time, you know, ride? But I feel like everybody goes there. So do I just attack other things? Do I do Guardians again and then figure out? There's zero strategy. So I'm gonna do something you're about to see. And if it works, I'll tell you. And if it doesn't, I'll tell you. Got into California Adventure. I'm actually not gonna book a lightning lane yet because they're all at eight o'clock. And the early entries here, which doesn't seem like it's a lot. Um, so I'm just gonna wait because there's no point in getting a lightning lane at 810 when the line's gonna be 10 minutes. Maybe that's a bad strategy, but we're gonna find out. I think I've decided I'm gonna hit Guardians first. <laughs> Got off Guardians. That was the move. That's at 35 minutes. Everything else is at like 10. I got the Elvis song. I liked the song I got yesterday. Better hit me with your best shot. But now it's time to do what I've been waiting to do since I landed here. Pixar Pier is an absolute ghost town in the morning. Holy smokes. Web Slingers went down late last night at like 8 o'clock, so I got a lightning lane for whatever I want to use today. So I might just go back and use that Guardians and then just walk into a credit coaster right now. It's a five minute wait. So apparently this is called the death wheel and it swings back and forth. You can see the contraption as it pulling up, but people like freak out on it. But I don't think, like there's no way it's that crazy. You do get a beautiful view up here. I don't like that and the water, I garbage from up here. Just doesn't look nice. But look at everything else. You get a really cool view. This is pretty wild, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just know some of the members of my family would be freaking out right now. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure it was gonna be just one lap. But I guess I get to go around twice. That's cool. At least if you, especially if you wait a decent amount of time, it's not just one lap. That's solid. The way the contraption works too is you do switch sides because you swing back and forth. So now I was facing this way on the first lap, now I'm facing that way. They do have spinning and non spinning. You can just take a regular ride around it and not swing if you're boring and weak. But I, I recommend the swing. Whoever designed this is awesome. Uh, it looks like for sure they let me on after the second lap, which is good. I think two laps is enough. Uh, it's a fun little thing. You get some cool views. But like I said, it's it's definitely unique, man. That's cool. I like it. Back row on the Incredicoaster is so much better than the front. Back is where the real thrill is. So just, you know, PSA, if you come here, they don't open up single rider until like later in the day, but they don't put a sign up saying that. So people just kept walking in, waiting, and then the guy be like, hey, it's closed. Like, oh, well, the entrance and everything's open. He's like, yeah, but it's closed. Interesting. 
maybe put a sign up. I don't know. I'm not Disneyland. Now I'm going to go over and hit their Little Mermaid ride. I'm interested to see if it's better than the one we got in Magic Kingdom because I'm not a fan of the one in Magic Kingdom at all. It's like a fish warehouse. It's a five minute wait, so let's go knock it out. Oh yeah, so that's just the same exact thing. Okay, now we're gonna head over to the first lightning lane of the day. It's gonna be soaring. Uh, it's only a 15 minute wait, but I might as well use it because I'm not gonna come back and ride soaring again. It's soaring around the world, which I think is better than soaring over California. But I'm interested to see if the queue or anything is different over here at this one. So let's get over there. What the hell is this thing? Oh my God. You already know I'm about to tear this place up. <laughs> if anybody went to Sesame Place like 15 years ago, these nets are bringing back memories I didn't even realize I still had. This is so cool. To my future kids, I hope you know, dad is gonna trash you when we run around these things. Unless it's like 25 years from now then, whew, okay? Dad's out of shape. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't fall. I just, it was a weird step over. You saw the thing. All right, let's try this thing. Okay. Okay. Said I've been running around the parks for the past two days. You know, I'm gassed, man. My calves hurt. I've done like so many miles. I'm not out of shape. I wasn't expecting the Grand Californian to look like Wilderness Lodge, but I love it. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make sure I stay there. Roll out the money bags and stay there on my next trip. Nice work, pal. Yeah, sorting around the world really is a lot better. No differences, obviously, besides, like the queue here's, I like that a little better. Ours definitely just feels like an airport in Disney World. I'm gonna head over to Cars Land now and do Radiator Springs Racers. It's only 60 minutes, so I'm gonna hop in the single rider line and hopefully not get out. So that way I don't have to buy the $19 Lightning Lane. Yeah, so that was a fun time. If you're a Cars fan, you're really gonna love it. I wouldn't wait more than 45 minutes for it. Uh, the single rider line I got in, it was 65 minutes. It took me about 15 minutes to get on it, so not bad at all. Um, but it's a good time, it's a good ride. Uh, the scenery around it is beautiful. But I was expecting with the wait times that that's to be my new favorite ride. It doesn't top Guardians, it doesn't top Indiana Jones at all. My lightning lane for Web Slingers is up, so let's go hit that. I mean, that's just the coolest thing ever. 
intelligence that keeps this place organized and running smoothly. Yes, so the players must be All right, Crush Web Slingers. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's like Toy Story Mania, but for Spider-Man, you just do this the whole time and uh, rack up points. Guy next to me was a local. We were chatting up. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been on this like eight times, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, cool, buddy. Like, I'm still going to beat you. This round, he had like 32,000 to my 18,000. Don't worry, I finished off with 216,000. He had 210. I'm representing for Disney World, for the Florida gang, the East Coast side. I put on, you can't beat me. All right, we're hopping over to Disneyland now. In here, ready to uh, just bang out rides. And then I saw the Disneyland Railroad, and I'm like, that's what I'd rather do. I've done so much already, and I think I just want a nice, a nice chilling, relaxing 30 minute ride. And to see Disneyland's version of this and go around the park, I think that's gonna be really cool. Tiny castle. Here in Critter Country, you can join Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and other beloved critters on fun-filled adventures for any As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, This theater is really cool. It sucks that they don't have anything going on here. <laughs> Definitely hitting the point in time where I just want to relax. My feet, man. You would think like my stamina, because I live in Disney World, like my park stamina is great. It sucks. Los pies y piernas de todo el tren y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get to a land inspired by visions of tomorrow, both practical and imaginable. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good note to end this vlog on. Bear with me here, this stuff was probably garbage. I'm still learning this whole vlog thing. So I just want to thank every single one of you who has liked, comment, shared any of my videos on any platform. I don't know how long it would have taken me to come out here if I didn't start creating content, um, but this has motivated me to come out, but it's because of you guys supporting me. The kind words, like I said, the likes, the shares, the comments, everything, uh, it means the world to me. So I appreciate you. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it through my eyes for a bit. Thanks for everything again. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next Thursday.